testing, you know, and was. Hi, everybody. Hello. In Land. Welcome to the Infrastructure Task Force Advisory Committee meeting of June 3. Can you take the roll, please? Oh, just for the record, we're not on YouTube right now. There's some technical difficulties, but we'll get the recording and upload it later. Okay, thank you very much. I love technology. <laughs> and technicians. When it works with us, not against. Us. Okay, please call the roll. Mr. Angeli? Here. Mr. Barnett? Here. Mr. Grabsky? Mr. Labrie? Here. Mr. Lambert? Here. Mr. Partington? Ms. Retzko? Here. Mr. Walters? Here. Mr. Zellman? Here. And Chairman Mario? Present. Yep. Thank you. Uh, everybody got the agenda in the packet. Um, hope everyone's had an opportunity to take a look at it. Uh, can I get a motion to approve the, excuse me, approve the agenda, yes. Motion to approve and written. Thank you. Second. Yes. Good. Everybody in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Previous meeting minutes, the uh, the May 6th meeting and the special meeting of May 20th. Everybody had an opportunity to take a look at those? Does anyone have any comments on those? No? Hearing no comments, do I have a motion? Uh, uh, to uh, you uh, uh, a joint motion uh, of five, you want to buy focus? Um, Let's do them individually. Yes. Yes. Let's do uh let's do the minutes of the May 6th meeting. Can I get a motion? Move to approve the May 6th minutes. Like we'll go with that correction. Okay. Do I hear any corrections on May 6th? All right, everybody in favor of May 6th, say aye, please. Aye. aye. Any nays? Uh we're moving on to the minutes of the special meeting of May 20th. Um Move to approve as written. Second. Second of the morale. Okay. Any um uh, every everybody wants to approve the minutes of May 20th. Say aye. 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 Any nays? Hearing none, the minutes are approved. Okay. Now on to the main event. I don't know about you, but I got guys, but I am really looking forward to tomorrow. I think it's gonna be a very, very interesting meeting. Can, can you step us through what your expectations of the meeting are? Be my first time at one of those. So. Oh, oh, okay. Well, unfortunately for this particular meeting, we're going to be at the NSU Museum. And logistically, that's a problem because the way the Newsom Museum is set up is that the commissioners are up on the stage and we're down in like the orchestra pit, which is not very conducive to a dialogue. A dialogue. That's yeah, for No, I don't. You're, you're practically looking at their shoes, which is very unfortunate. Um, uh, considering that the last time we had a workshop with them, we were like across the table, yeah, and it was really it was it was interactive. Yeah. So this time, logistically, it's going to be very difficult. But we, knowing that, we should plan for that. You know, we should figure out a way to to make this work. And, and we should think about it from the perspective of, I think we should all participate in this presentation. We should all have an opportunity to get up and go to the microphone and, and say something or express our opinion. Or this is just a suggestion now. I'm trying to think of how to get all of us involved rather than just sitting there, you know, in the front row seats and not, you know, not having an opportunity to have any interaction with them. In that situation, they don't, they don't really refer to the people who are sitting down there. They usually ask the chair to come up and make a, you know, say something. And which which I will do, I will, you know, we all agree I'll give the report. And then they sort of just start asking questions, but they never ask questions of everybody who's sitting there. They just ask questions of the person who's standing at the, at the bank. So I'm trying to figure out a way that we could either take parts of the presentation each other or after I make the presentation, say, you know, uh, and um, um, Gerald would like to answer any questions you might have about principle number three, and then you would come up and they could engage you on that particular one. That, that was my first thought, but I was just thinking about it. I'm open to any 
suggestions that anybody has. Who's going first? Oh, oh, that's, I'm assuming it was, we have a time. Our commissioner and their staff. Are we all going? 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 Okay. It's, the auditorium it's, actually, it's the not meeting. an agenda item, it's its own meeting. Yeah, it's a conference. Uh, it's a workshop. Yeah. workshop. Mm -hmm. Okay, and because Tuesday's not going to have a board meeting, yes, they have one afterwards. Work. Okay, perfect. Do you know where that's the conference happens. meeting is at? Do you know where the heli stuff is on Broward? The what The heli stuff? So, are we all going? That's my question. Okay, question. Who's planning on going? Drop? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, it's possibly. I will try. I have a meeting at 10. If that meeting goes longer, mm. I think probably. How long are the workshops? Probably two hours? Mm. No, 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 an hour. So I, think think we'll we'll an hour. I squeeze it. Conference. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Okay, so there's at least seven of us. Okay, good. That would work very nicely. Yes. If, if that is the way we want to go. My you know. suggestion. Yeah, what do you suggest? Um, We've been to a million of these. What do you think? Uh, it's, it's that once you um, give the report at the end of the report or any time during the report, mm -hmm. you can remind them. You know that this is a committee report. Oh yeah, and you give it because you're the chair, and uh, the most appropriate person for their question mm -hmm. will answer. Because if you if you segment it into parts, right, and then me ask me something where he should know I'm in trouble. But I'm gonna be in trouble to ask me any question. But that's. No, 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 no. And, and it may be that we don't take it from the perspective of you take one of the principles. We might take it from the, and now um, James has a particular issue that he wants to bring to your attention. That's and Marta has some, within this thing, Marta would like to elaborate on. You have something you want to elaborate on. So maybe that's that's another way to go. Yeah, um, but since you've spoken, yeah. Jim won't be able to say anything because no, 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 no. It's a workshop. It's a workshop. Good. Oh, that was sarcastic. That was sarcastic. He's, he's got his little bike twist over there. Right. Uh, <laughs> makes me well, jump. doesn't forget his yeah. experience. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So what I, 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 I think. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, Marilyn, I, I listen to a lot of the work. I think. I think that's fragmented. Honestly, well, let's let's. And I would. You know, we can all be there. We can answer questions. We can support you. You can turn to us and say. Marta, what was your thoughts on this? Or you can be sort of a facilitator of any questions that come forward, and you can say, "Well, you know, Jerry spoke a lot about that. Jerry, what did you what, think? Or what, would you like to add something to this or something?" That, that okay. would be another way to go. I like that. Sure. All right. I like that because I think if you know, I stand up to do a little thing, and someone else stands up and that, and yeah, yeah. organize it. You know, yeah. where it gets out of hand. All right, well, that, that's that's good input. That's yeah. that's what we'll do. Take a turn and say, has anybody else got any else? Yeah, well, at the end, for sure. Does anybody, anybody want to, want to make a specific, one? you know, a, a comment to the? Well, maybe you should do that after each um, guideline, after each recommendation. You know, just say, was there anything else we want to add on this one, and then go on to the next or something like that. I thought you were, you were recommending against that 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 was too fragmented. Oh. No, 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 I didn't no, want no, no. different people speaking on different pieces. Specifically. Oh, oh, oh. I thought that was right. Okay. But you're I, the conductor. I'm so you're up there, the questions come to you, and you speak, and you, you know, you all have your knowledge, and there are little things we've gained through these workshops and everything. You speak to it, and then you can say, Was there anyone on the committee who wanted to say something on space okay. allocation or whatever we're calling it? And to be clear, they've not seen in the document. Yes, they have. Yes, they always have. have. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they got it. About well, the eleventh, eleventh and a half hour, I got it in. But okay. yes, they got it. What's the screw? Yeah.
So okay, so we'll we'll. You feel we'll, comfortable with that? Are you okay? With yeah, that? no, I'm, I'm perfectly. I, I I will do it any way you guys want to do it. I've done this for like fifty years, so you know, any way you want to do it, we'll do it. But I think I think you you're right. We should not. We should make it a cohesive presentation. Right. Right. And, but and we'll participat participatory in the fact that we are all part of the group. Yes. All right. So you and if they reach, you know, if Commissioner Herb says, well, Ralph. What do you think? You're the only engineer here. What do you think? That's then that's perfectly that's wonderful. That's legitimate, and Ralph should answer the question. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, but you know, you were there when they did the uh, charter revision, okay? And that was really, really bad. They did not ask anybody yeah, was that was strange. sitting there. That was right. so strange. Um, but that was an overwhelming and, amount of information. I think that was that was a mistake. That was a general, mistake. genuine mistake. Yeah, I agree with you on that. But you know, in those things, there's always enough blame to go around for yeah. things don't work. But uh, okay, so we'll take charge. That's what you got to do sometimes when you're yeah, you gotta, dealing with you know. Well, should we do this? Uh, take charge and show them that we are organized and got a plan that we can make presentation. Okay, and the way it's been structured, it's business one and business two. I had this discussion with uh, the staff. Oh, there you go. Hi. The new person, the new person in charge. Yeah. There's been changes, you know. Laura Reese is now an assistant city manager. Yeah. And you have moved up to the directorship. Right? Yes. Excellent. Acting, acting director. Acting. Yeah. Congratulations. Everybody, everybody's acting. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay. So uh, we talked a little bit uh, about how we were going to make this presentation, whether it was going to be together or separately. And um, I, I su strongly suggested that we go first and we make our report because our report is an independent report. It is not a report of the public input. That's a separate report. And oh, Laura, Laura, or, 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 or somebody will be making that right. presentation right after. So they will hear from us as the, these are the principles. And then they may have questions about the particulars. Those, I don't think, I don't think we want to get into that. When so when they say and 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 who showed up at the workshop and how did this work? Oh no, no, no we're, we're not going to do that. We're going to say you're going to see a presentation later, and we will be sitting here. If you have any questions, we're not going away. We will answer any questions, but we are not going to be answering questions. Are we in agreement? Yes. All right. Yes. The question I have: Who's going to talk about the fact that all of the surveys that we have? It's right in right up the second the second yeah second paragraph in the report is it's not statistical uh, yeah and then in, 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 I would say that that's probably going to be their first question right out of the box after we make a presentation they're going to say well why what about this fact that it wasn't statistically but that'll be for Cheryl Dickey or or somebody else to tackle I don't think I, that's our job to tackle that other yes. than we recognize that. We recognize, we recognize uh, it right up front. The, the opportunity was there to have a lot more feedback. There was, yes. there was, but the way you do it now, if you do a two step, the way you do it now, it's easier. You take these results and show it to people. Yeah, and that will that will galvanize, galvanize them. Yeah. And you know what else will galvanize them? I saw it on YouTube today. today. The, const uh, the demolition of the building. You go on YouTube now and they're showing you the demolition of the and building. And the District 3 workshop, there was a commission presence in this workshop. So I think she saw it on oh. the own eyes. She yes. facilitated. She'll How probably, she will probably say something was. about it. Pam, Pam Beasley will probably Correct. say something so about it. Probably that's a good thing that at least we have one commissioner who yeah. actually attended the workshop. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. So we'll go ahead. <laughs> all right. I, I think it'll be fine. I think yeah. it'll, and the, and my my big question to all of us now is, what now? We get the report. They yeah. see the report, and go forth and do. And I I think we might want to be a little more proactive rather than just drop the report and walk away. Uh, I think that the we we should be talking about to them what are the next steps, you know? Well, money and site selection and programming and yeah, yeah. I mean because 
principles are just principles, but the bottom line is somebody's got to put together a program. Somebody has to do a site selection and look all over downtown and all of the possibilities and options and all the funding. And they've got to come back to the commission with something. So, something. The commission will say, well, we're going to wait after the election. Well, for absolutely this. sure. Nothing is going to happen, in my opinion. I could be wrong, but in my opinion, but nothing is going to happen until the, after the election. But, you know, let's not waste all this time until the uh, election. Let's right. let's recommend sure. perhaps that, yeah. why don't you get some of this background stuff done? Like this, you know, hire a consultant to do a, a, a site selection search. I mean, we, we, we pushed them in the direction of down. And I'm sure that they will accept that yeah, because yeah, that's, that's not controversial. No, I don't think with it is them, with them. So, okay, that's principle number one. And number two is downtown. So. What does that mean? That means you've got to get somebody to take a look at all the options downtown, okay? The pros and the cons. And for the next group who takes has to make this decision, now you've got a document on the table and says, okay, here are your options downtown. Let's start moving. Let's well, start I mean, moving. They could hire the program manager, the program slash project manager now. They could pull for you even early. They could. They could. Owner's rep. An owner's a little, mm, I don't know, an owner's rep at this stage? Maybe the owner's, city's the owner. Yeah. Right, owner's rep, so, you know, consultant that represents the owner of the city on, I mean, all of these things from, yeah. you know, A to Z, right? Um, that may be something that we, I don't know, again, if it's pertinent to discussion of this group, but something I think that the city should strongly consider because right. yeah. there oh, are actually. there are other, you know, projects and other stuff, you know, obviously a uh, large scope of that that have been, um, have been done very effectively with that, so. Mm -hmm. But that okay. would be the next step, right? Well, yeah. the next step, an important challenge, yada, 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 yada. So, well, we, so, we're so suggesting that the, 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 the discussions continue. I mean, this is not the end. The discussions have to continue and other stakeholders have to be brought in. And as the city begins the site selection process and develops the building program, additional opportunities for public input should be provided. That's the last sentence. Right, so I I liked how you added those things at the end. Uh -huh. the conclusion. Um, I thought that, uh, but it didn't see where we are because we are participating in this as well. Well, that that's the question. I didn't want to presume to say yeah. in this in the in our without report that, the best for exactly. Yeah, okay. So, so I don't know if you wanted to 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 do that. Well, that was one of my you know I made some edits, uh -huh. edits, and that was one of the things I thought we need to be stronger in our conclusion in that we need to be participated, be engaged with the community. These are our recommendations. We believe the conversation should continue as the city begins, blah, blah, blah. The infrastructure task force looks forward to participating. We look forward to participating. And contributing. You know, participating, contributing. So it's not both Yeah. Enjoy. Something like that. Enjoy. So it sets us Enjoy. up for whatever happens next. We did that. We're ready and willing, and we'll, we'll be a part of it. If Always you ready us, and willing. If you yeah. ask us to, something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, definitely put that in. Yes, Roosevelt, did it come to you? No, <laughs> I, I forgot another one. Uh, uh, when when you are given the the report, mm -hmm. you're going to give it on the um, the principles, or you're going to give it on the principles plus the subs. This is a very good question, okay. and the reason the reason that I say it's such a good question is I gave this to my husband to read. Uh -huh. Okay. And the first time I did it, I just did the principles, okay? And then I put the bullets as a separate thing. And he, he couldn't understand it because he couldn't refer the, the bullets back to the principles. Right, right. So that's why I did it the way you actually did it. And I put the bullets and underneath each of the principles. Yeah. I, I think just saying welcoming and engaging is not enough. Yeah. I think you have to add some okay. things. I, I just want to make sure that, that they are fully understand it. What is involved in principle what one of in principle two? I agree with you. Rather than saying read it for yourself. <laughs> you go home, guys, and read it. Let me know if you've got any questions. All right, yeah, we're we're in agreement on that. I, I thought about the same thing. 
Because I thought, oh, this is not really this executive summary, way too much words here. They're going to get bored and whatever. And then I thought, well, how could you break it up? And then I thought, well, you could have welcome and engage and then just have the sentence underneath and then go to number two and the sentence underneath, and number three, et cetera, et cetera. But that's like, it's not going to work either because they really have to have a better understanding. Yeah. You don't want to go too deep, but we don't want to be so shallow that it doesn't make any right. sense at all. I, I was worried about making a, a saying, making a presentation that's like four minutes and say, thank you, thank you. You know, if you yeah. just say the, the principles, it's, you know, yeah. not even but, about five but, minutes. But that's, that's uh, to me, to me, if, if you said, okay, principle number two was accessible and secure. And then you give that sentence and then going on to number the, the third principle. I'm lost. I know. I agree. I'm well, no, we're all in agreement. I, I don't know. I don't know what's we'll do the what whole thing. involved. We'll do the whole and, thing. and what we hope they don't do is stop you to ask questions about a principle before you are finished with your report. They won't do that. They never say they, really they, no. they never say She's unstoppable. Tell that. Stop. Oh. No, I, I doubt it. <laughs> but you know, maybe I should not be so cavalier. Should I take questions at the end of each one? I ask. No, just say that. No, no, just keep going. Because then we're going to we going to get out in the week, <laughs> and we never okay. get the report done. Okay, there's, works there's, for me. No, you read, you read, right? Even the even the major goals. There's no. No, no, it's this is not brain science. Well, sometimes you're going to give them something. Like, Wait a minute. What do you mean by that? Yeah. We need an engineer to tell us what that is. Yeah, you guys better sit on the <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think I, I think I'm I'm comfortable. Are you guys comfortable? Yeah. They're gonna have All to right. talk about the money. That's the issue. Uh, no, now, now, you know, let's 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 um let's brainstorm and and think about what they're gonna exactly what they're gonna do. They're gonna say they're gonna after I finish and after you all, all have all participated had the opportunity to participate. Uh, then they're going to ask some specific questions. They're going to ask the question about not stati statistically relevant, and we're going to say we need that to the consultant who's going to give you a presentation and show you all of the opportunities. Yada yada yada. We're not, Sherry, you just walked in. We're not going to get into any of the details okay. of the process that we went through. That's your your okay. place to shine. Okay. Um, and then they're going to ask us about the money because one of our things was money. Um, what else can I tell you? Ask about location. Huh? Location. What we told them location. We all said location. We said downtown somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what well, you know, but they then will well, they'll probably ask us to revisit that. Okay. What do you mean okay. by that? And what we it's mean? Take a look at all the options, pros and cons of possibilities downtown. Yeah. That's what a site selection what, process what is. What property does the city own? Which would they sell? Which would they buy? What makes sense to them? Uh -huh. And interestingly enough, on the agenda this evening, that's next e that same evening, there is a item, uh, a $359,000 consultant contract to do a uh, study to build a parking garage in Holiday Park. Remember the parking garage in Holiday Park? Yeah. Apparently, in the works somewhere, sometime, there was a, des uh, a desire to sell the property that the transportation uh, administration's uh, in now, the TAM building. TAM building, yeah. The TAM building. And sell that and use it to fund the, de the development of the parking garage. I mean, this was like, they talked about this you know, maybe a year and a half ago, and now it's actually coming to fruition. But reimagining City Hall has happened in the interim, okay? And I I know I am going to be uh, asking them, not necessarily as part of this group, but guys, why are you doing this now? You're going to sell a piece of city-owned property downtown. Use it to finance the building of an office building in the park. Why don't you say that? Why don't you put that aside for a while? Reconsider that. Just just pause on that part of it and, and see how this whole reimagining thing goes. Chef, I believe the holiday park received the grants from the public uh, uh, general obligation bank for the 
entire innovation in the parking garage to was in the side That's not, That's not what they say. They say it's, it's not, not it's not, it's not funded. Park. The parking garage is not funded. Unless it's if a you second rebuild. parking garage. Huh? Maybe there is a second, another parking garage that they. This is on the property that's east of the building itself, or the Parker Playhouse is east of that yeah. building. Right. Mm -hmm. Not west, because west is where the new YMCA is going to go. This is not the YMCA. It's not that. Problem. It was always a discussion side. during the parks mm -hmm. bond issues yeah. about all the money they were putting into the parks. Mm -hmm. and, and and then the Panthers came along and they did the Panther thing. And everybody so crazy about Panthers right now. We're all Panthers. Yes. Oh, oh, that's 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 nice. Right. But there was always a discussion about we need a parking garage right. in the park. And if you read the documentation on the item that's on the agenda in the evening, okay, it's to hire a consultant to start the design, location design, da 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 da, of the parking garage and the relocation of Tam into the parking garage <laughs> so they can sell that building or property in order to fund the parking garage because there is no funding for the parking garage. Right. That was under into the parking garage in the park. It's not going to be part of City Hall. That's the, the point. <laughs> That's sorry. the point. Oh, These I see. I mean, it's it's I didn't understand room. where we. Yeah. Did. I thought Tam would just become one of those other offices in. Yeah, you're right. Uh -huh. Downtown. And and we'll sell that piece of property and help fund City Hall Park. So they, they really got to do a serious site selection project, and they got to put all of those other, all right. you know. I get it. Things aside, and because this is a new day now, and City Hall was is coming. It so sounds like they need to do an overall downtown city property review and prioritization. That's what that's what a site selection would do. Yeah. So that that's okay. I thought it was very interesting yeah, that that particular thing is yeah. is on. Yes, we are digressing. Sorry about that. Okay. So uh, they're going to ask us about money. They're going to ask us about the survey. They're going to ask us about. Are we going to get in? Maybe John Herbst will ask us, you know, this esoteric discussion about AI. Right. You didn't, you're not building, you have to build for uh, the future when AI is going to be everybody's job. Well, we said that. We, we talked that's about John's, that. That's John's. Yeah. But, and you know, when he says that, does is there anybody here who wants to talk, you know, specifically about that? Because if they're starting to ask us questions, okay, I don't want to answer all the questions. I want to be able to turn to you guys and say, you know, you were concerned about this. Why don't you take this opportunity to express your opinion? I mean, we can't plan to that. We have to like, that would have to like be on the fly. Because we are not so interconnected with the workforce and all um, those that works away make uh, any comments as to how AI, you know, I, I asked the city attorney this when we were hiring him, uh, what was his thought about AI? He said he don't have the slightest damn idea where AI is going. And uh, even though the commercials on TV said this is man is mainly by the United States, I think that's the biggest lie I've ever been told, but that's okay. It, it, it's going to be something that's going to have an effect on all of us, all of us, whether we work or not work it, be, because of the, the potential capability of what AI can do on the good side and the bad. Mm -hmm. I don't like it, but I can't do nothing about it. Well, we may have, we may be able to do some. We're not, we're not um, helpless in the face of AI. I mean, either we just lay back and let it roll over us, and let you know the tech, the tech kings figure out what to do and monetize it and roll over us, or we could stand and we could say, you know, not here, not this way. You know, yes, it will help us in in this way, but we're not going in this direction, and. Um, we were we were not in a position to make that statement. I mean, and nobody is because, I mean, nobody is. But the the commission can make that statement because they're putting together the program for this for this building, and they're going to be you know looking from the perspective of okay, 
it's going to be the biggest, baddest techno building the world has ever seen. So that we can have, you know, all the options possible to us. But just because you have all the options doesn't mean you take all the options. You know, you you balance and you weigh. Hopefully, yes, Marta. So um, I think that would be a commission or the discussion about the renting. We have that under cost effectiveness right. because mm -hmm. he mentioned already mm -hmm. considering mm -hmm. renting the building. And I believe he actually was here with the speaking for that too. Right. Um, looks like his, his decisions are financially um, driven. So he considered the cost effectiveness even if we have to rent. So I, I think what we need to focus, um, we do we do put uh, solicitating 3P partners. Yeah. But um, what happened with the water pump, that's the kind of different scenario what I'm thinking compared to the building with City Hall. Um, a water pump is highly regulated by the EPA, federally, state, uh, Department of Health. So the actual quality of the water needs to be maintained. We will not own the building or the plant for the next 50 years, maybe, 30. or 30. Um, but if we're talking about a city hall and possibly entering 3P, we would not own the building. There is no regulations it comes to the maintaining the building and providing quality of the building as a maintenance, right? And, and again, I think we're going to the sovereignty of the local government. Mm -hmm. If we're gonna be placing our uh, government functions in a building that we don't own and we have no control through those 30 years, it could be 50 depends on the deal that yeah. it's gonna be signed with yeah. I'm not feeling comfortable as a resident to have a police fire, a water plant, all those essential structures of the city uh, giving to the third father. And I think that's my my risk of the 3P. And that, that's a different what I can tell. When at least at the water plant we have some federal state government controlling the quality product to be at the end. Well, so, actually, in the water treatment plan. The control of the water, of the quality of the water, was part of the comprehensive agreement, and that was really one of the sticking points. One of our principles was our principles. never lose control of the quality of the water. And they could not, because again, that's uh, without, uh, it's overseen by the Department of Environmental Protection. The parameters. And the parameters. parameters. So that would be a federal violation or state violation, which this is state. The Safe Drinking Water Act, which comes all the way from Washington. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's no way, and I wasn't during those negotiations, but they, if you own and operate drinking water plant, you must maintain your standards. So there's right. no way, there's no choice. Mm -hmm. So even if the city said, oh yeah, we want you to, by default, they must. Otherwise, they're not going to be permitted and they're going to be violated by the consent order from the EPA. Mm -hmm. But I think we don't have that extra measure for uh, it comes to the 3P and the uh, city call because that's an extra agency that kind of help us to keep that plant in a proper maintenance. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we can have that with the city hall. So you wouldn't be in favor of a P3? I would not be. No. I think it's a good experiment right now. I'm not sure if it's working well yet. And um, I think the time will show the mm -hmm. benefits of that. but. But I'm very concerned uh, giving the main essential functions of the city to to some to the third party. And mm -hmm. I think that's something with that minimal as a city needs to maintain. We may not provide best parks in a city, but police, fire, water, sewer, that's essential. What are we saying? Wait, wait, wait. Well, wait a minute. Well, Ralph had his hand up. Right, yeah, so just... just to clarify something, I mentioned it a couple of times before, I can't remember, but like a city government building. Uh, there is no other government agency that has control over, like the city of Fort Lauderdale. The city of Fort Lauderdale is responsible for their own maintenance, uh, inspections, uh, et cetera. Unlike a public building that, uh, or a private building that's, uh, when they are under the scrutiny of government uh, to maintain a certain, certain codes, et cetera. But the city of Fort Lauderdale is their own, if you will, inspector to uh, make sure their buildings are sound, etc. Okay, Greg, Gregory. 
I was going to say, I, I, I agree with her. I'm not a big fan of the P3 concept from a control perspective. I, you know, so it's, I was trying to say, what did we say about that? And all we say is consider soliciting the partner. Mm -hmm. Maybe when we talk to it, we can say this is an option, but not strict, but, but not the only option. They, well, know. it's certainly not the only option. Right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you can see the design bird, it's a renting. I would not to be going towards renting, <laughs> then just, okay. Yes, James. So um, kind of in agreement, but I would say leave it, but re-edit the words, consider soliciting P3 partners with specific guidelines or specific restrictions or something like that, that Special if they ask what that means, then we can say, well, that would mean, you know, whatever, whatever you think would be necessary to say. I, 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 I hear where you're going, coming from. Um, and I don't think that we should, I think consider is just where we should stop is consider. I don't think consider maybe a hundred percent with this because we haven't had an opportunity to talk about with maybe with this, you know, making the, the qualifications and the, the extra stuff. All we're saying is consider it. Now, when they come back, this, this speaks to what's the next steps. We want to continue to be part of the conversation. Let's just say for the sake of the argument, they go P3, all right? And they put out a, a solicited, I hope it's a solicited P3 and not an unsolicited because then you'll get every crazy person in the world. If you put out a solicited P3, it said, this is what we want. We want it in downtown. You guys go out and figure out what the options are, okay? And then when it comes back, we want to be involved in the review. Just like we were involved in the review of the P3 for the water treatment plant. That's the way I'm, I want to try and get them that way. So that when those questions come up in the comprehensive agreement, do we really want to turn the maintenance of the building over to the P3 partner? Is that part of the, the comprehensive agreement? Or do we want to maintain control of the maintenance of the building? And that's not part of the agreement. Okay, so, you know, we're not paying for that. We'll take care of that ourselves. Like at the water treatment plant, we took the, the chemicals and the electric because we got a better deal out of the chemicals and the electric. I think we even took the test. No, we took the supervision of the testing, not the testing. But, yeah. but if I may yeah. also remind you that the workers or the plant operators are under the scrutiny of the P3. It depends all in the contract. All held. It's all in the contract. contract. And in this particular one for the Prospect Lake uh, Manor Filtration Plant, uh, believe that they can um, say, okay, we're cutting down staff or we're replacing staff with the ones of our own because we got this thing for 30 years or whatever. So caution to the wind on the verbiage in the mm -hmm. time, like, well, any contract, question. really. And that's why one of the sticking points on the P3 for the water treatment plant was the labor negotiation. That was a whole separate piece. Oh yeah, the labor, the yeah, labor unions and the city and the and the, the P3 partner had to agree on who's running this thing and who's supervising and can I fire Joe tomorrow or before I can fire Joe, I gotta go through the union. You know, that was a whole separate piece. So if I would if I could suggest. I would ask that we, um, what would be the right words? Help me here, Roosevelt, to adopt the draft as the final report. And let's just, because what they got was a draft. So we really have to adopt the report as the final report. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm holding my breath right now as you're speaking. Um, I was going to ask you, Marilyn, are we going to discuss this document and make edits today and talk about it and create a final? Is that the if, plan for if today? If you want to, we certainly can. I was hoping not to, but, but if, if you we, want to. I'm not prepared to accept this as a final. Okay, then. That's, that's, okay. that's the I don't know how you ask about state line. Open up and let's talk but about it. My, my concern would be, can we get the edit in place? And the final document to them. By Depends on how fast we work, ladies and gentlemen. Let's look at. Let's go. Yeah. James, first. 
Uh, I think you have to check with the clerk. We have to check with the clerk. No, I'll, I have to. I have to take it and hand it out as the fine. Right. That yeah. would work. But, but yeah, but you need to let the clerk know. I'll. Yeah. I'll talk to David. Yeah. yeah. Okay, James, you first. Do you want me to run through all of mine, or you just? Have no, yeah, okay, well, all right. So um, I think the introduction is too long. Okay. I think that we don't need to go through all the history. So. The whole sentence after the unprecedented flood of April, I'd strike that out. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. I'm is that all my suggestion? Okay. Yes. Just my suggestion. Yes. The sentence that says after the unprecedented flood of April 2023. They know that we don't have take that read. whole sentence out. That's what I would do. My husband said that too. Well, that's out. <laughs> what am I saying? No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> my husband. Now he said it. It's okay. Okay. Then, um, where you say the commission asks us to do things, recommend principles for them to consider when deciding on a new city hall, and gather public input. Yep. Were we asked to gather public interest, or we were we asked to listen to the public? No, gather. Yeah. I, I I I went back and listened to the whole thing. Okay. Together. Okay. Great. Um, then we get into the second paragraph. Okay. And you know we talk all about sort of the process and and the different people who are involved. In, I, I don't know. To me, that's just they know that already, don't they? No, I don't mm -hmm. think they. Is do. she addressing that in her person? No. What I what I what I wanted to do here was just the hot, hit the highlights of what the public input process was. And thank everybody. This is the thank you for the staff for all that work. And I yeah. definitely think we have to thank the people who came. I mean, they may not be statistically relevant, but they gave up their Saturday mornings and they have to be paid. They were relevant. They were definitely relevant. And, and also, I think James would be hard for us to tell that the workshops represent statistically small portion Words with all these facts. Like we did survey, we did the workshops, we did right. emails, social media. But maybe regardless, we still have statistically. So maybe they can put something like, although we did this, 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 yeah. the okay. workshops. I agree. Be, and we're, we're going to just gloss over. So maybe we can. We are especially anything. grateful. That's I would say like, leave it and to gloss over. Gloss over. But, all right. But so, instead of one day, maybe we just put this part, this part of this, all this effort. Despite all this effort, the respondents represented a statistically correct. Because okay. I so, want to highlight the fact that there was. Okay, I'm right. writing, despite all these efforts. Yeah. Represented statistically small portion of city's residents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although they were enthusiastic. Although they, we definitely have to say enthusiastic. Yeah. Correct, yeah. although they were perfect. Moving on. So then the next line, documentation of the public outreach effort and city staff effort, efforts are available in separate reports. There are two other reports. No, there's only one other report. Is that city staff going to be reporting? Yeah, so there are oh, actually two. two. Oh, it's okay. the one that's the public input, and the other one is employee. Yes. yes. Thank you. Yes. Documentation of the public outreach and staff reports is. How did you say it? Documentation of public outreach mm -hmm. efforts and city staff and city staff efforts are available in separate reports. Thank you. Um. Okay. um so you got us and you got the city, but you didn't get the outreach exactly. that was done by um, the consultant. Yes, yeah. no, it's here. The documentation the of the public outreach is doc is is the Dickie consultant. They're going to have that reimagined city hall booklet. They're going to go oh, through that. Okay. Um, yeah. Right. So then, um, next executive summary. We're gotcha. into that already. Um, the sentence, we are mindful that the city is planning for a facility for the next 50 years. And it will not look like the one that served us for the last 50. I'm particularly fond of that sentence. And that's the one I don't like. I don't like that part. I'm particularly fond of that one. Me too. Like the 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 uh, recommendation number one. Well, okay. Here we go. Um, when we say should be transparent, are, do they understand what that? Means? Oh, you know they're all into transparency. They're but to me, that things. means you know we're transparent in our discussions. You know we're mm -hmm. not holding back. Yeah. 
was fun. I, I'll look, look. I asked a question um, uh, about that um, a couple months ago. And my concern at that time uh, was with the word transparent. Are we, are we talking transparent from the outside or transparent once you get inside? Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah, you know what yeah. I was trying to get at the concept of, you know, we see all that glass and you yeah, can look cool. into the conference rooms and you can look into the commission chambers, you know, that you, you should be able to see, see government uh, functioning. Uh, ceiling and like openness. Yeah. Because like, of the, the dual we have transparency. Okay, oh, so nice. what word would you like to use? I suggest a feeling of openness. Should be with interaction between the public and elected representatives should be uh, should have the feeling have, of openness. Okay. Should or you can think of a sentence out. No, right? no, like, no, no. Feel or, or even open. feeling of transparency or something. No, I will give up transparency. Openness okay. is better. Okay. I like openness. Okay. Next, uh are the one, two, three, four, five, the fifth bullet point, architecturally recognizable but cost effective. That's actually number five. Actually, you're right. That should come out. That should come out. Thank you. On uh, number two, access accessible and secure. I think the third bullet point should be near public transportation. Where, what, Did we talk about that? Yes. yes. Exactly. Oh my goodness, I left out near transportation? Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's a separate bullet or abundant parking and near transportation? Downtown prominent locations preferred free and abundant public parking yeah. near public transportation. Then do clear, then do open gotcha. space. Gotcha, near public transportation. Got it? Um, nice. Okay. Uh, amenities for public and staff. Um, we, we, we say on the second bullet point, amenities for the public make it a pleasure to be in City Hall. That was for Jerry. But because it, Jerry was saying, you, you you want you when you go to city hall now you don't, you feel you don't feel like there's a reason to be there. I was parroting one of your thoughts on that. So can we be? Just, can, be can we can we have a little more what? detail? What does that mean? What's an amenity that makes it feel good? Well, can we say what that would be? Oh, a spa maybe. No. That amenity. I think I think it's hard about the amenity. The ambiance. The ambiance maybe. Okay. Ambiance. Uh, Today it's too, too strong a word. You walk in now, and you got to report to the guard if you're going to the city commission meeting. You got to go through the metal detector. It's all it's all right there. It's not it's not hidden somewhere. It's not in the backdrop. Um, so I don't know what's the furnishings that make it. A, I, don't know I think we're getting I think we're getting hyper hyper here. Well, I'm trying to explain it. You know I understand. That comment was for yeah. Okay. One of the places well, I had to visit was on Park Avenue. One of the most secure buildings on Park Avenue because we're uh, private equity company that all business was. And when you walked into that building, it was open. You never got the feeling that I don't know why I'm here. All the security guards weren't in the front. They were outside of the elevators. So you had my feet to walk before you banged into the before you banged into anything that was that was regulatory. Well, maybe the word isn't amenities for the public should. Maybe it's just that the public should feel it's a pleasure to be at City Hall. Better. Okay. Better. Nice. The that's, that's the that's the spirit of the message I was trying to give. Yeah. Even yeah. when I when in the old City Hall, you walk in, you got the feeling like somebody was going to ask, "What the hell are you doing here?" See, we're making progress. We're getting better. Yeah. Keep going. Uh, number four. I think okay. you need a period of. Commas between history, art, history, comma, art, comma. Gotcha. Then we have the bullet point, engage youth in public and civic engagement. I have no idea what that means. Oh, this is this is a hard one because did your husband ask you about No, 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 no. I, mean, I was trying to capture the idea that the building should be used to engage youth and you know, like taking taking children to city hall to see how the city government works and uh, using it as a sort of an educational So space. you have the bullet point space available for public education and student engagement. Yeah. To me, that's you. Okay, well, I could, I could, 
I could do. I could do with. So I would just say you yeah. you the public because you've got the other one. But to me, yeah. Okay. It's a better statement. I agree. Go with that. It's kind of a repetition. So taking out? I'm just taking out engage youth in and public and civic engagement and relying on space, space available for public engagement. Yeah. It's actually repetition. You're right. Yeah. It's repetition. I don't know why your husband made that. He had okay. three tracks on uh, <laughs> Cost effective. Cost we kind of talked this to that. that I think, Marilyn, just for. Uh, I would I would start every comment with consider so con consider Correct. soliciting P three partners. Okay. Considering go design process doing an RFP. Consider generating income. You know what I mean. I will change every one of them to consider that. And that's the right. very last that we have consider renting, and yeah. I don't understand this. We are asked to design a build a city hall, and we're talking about renting. No, we would design. We were asked to. Give them guiding principles. The guiding principle is it should be cost effective. And if upon consideration, renting is more cost advantageous and cost effective, I, can we can't, I don't want to prejudge. I want to leave those all open. I think it's contrary to what we were asked to do. If all of the bullets are going to consider, put that in the front and then all the others. So consider. Otherwise, so it's consider, consider such elements as, as consider. and then list. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Very yeah. good. Much more clean. But are we going to consider, consider renting? Because I'm confused. Are we no, considering renting? We're not considering. No, but we are we, we got to consider. But was this, we talked about us considering to rent to other people to bring down the operating costs. No, yeah. we also. We talked about right. rent space for their city hall. Yeah. And we there was also about this. Commissioner was here at the meeting. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's also part of the answer to the question that says, how are you going to deal with AI? You need to rent. You can always get out. Always upgrade. Or rent for five years without you. Easier than you can. Mike. Yes. The other thing is, too, you know, when you rent, you also have a build out, right? And so, you know, you could rent where they are right now, hypothetically, again, you know, at the whatever, 100 or 101. And that could require an extensive build out, which would then incorporate a lot of these principles. But, yeah. um, you know, again, consider renting as part of the financial, you know, kind of part of the financial equation of this. And then the rest of it obviously would be if there was a build out in renting, a lot of these principles would apply. And if the renting was not uh, an option, then again, this would still apply. Right. Yeah. So, right. So just keeping their options open. Point. Okay. But we're going to leave it in, James. Okay. We'll be on. All right. See, I can agree. So <laughs> six and seven, I think, should be combined. To me, these are really, we're talking about same stuff. Functional, efficient, resilient, innovative. You can put the bullet points. Combine the two sentences. Put the what do you all feel? Do you think that, that, that they're, they're, they're smart enough to, 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 I think putting them together like that sort of burdens their brain. That would burden my brain. Well, we were only asked to do six, four to six. Well, we got seven recommendations. We, told, we said seven at our last meeting. Oh, we agreed to seven. I thought we only had six. Check the minutes. We have seven at the end. Okay. Like okay. All right. Okay. Conclusion. Conclusion. Um, like I said before, I think ITFAC has to be strong in this. Mm -hmm. like, where are we participating? And I thought. Like, you can have two paragraphs here, and the last paragraph should be the one that ITFAC recommends for the conversation to really kind of build up okay. as a second concluding paragraph. Okay. What we can we, we can want to be you. willing and supporting. Okay. And ready. So what if I say the ITF as a new paragraph? The ITF recommends that the conversation continue uh, as the city begins the da 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 the and uh, add to that that sentence. That the committee is uh, is is willing and is, is a bit, the co committee is always available. Should you ask us to, this you know, next steps to which to, could include... to, to participate in the next steps, which could include the site selection. I, I probably shouldn't get too specific, which could include, but that's up to them. We're 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 available and we're ready. Now we're ready. Ready. And when it yes. to help, so that will be the last yeah. sentence there. So it ends very, you know, strong, strong for, us, for us, and we're ready to continue doing our work. Okay.
Just on, on that second yes. paragraph mm -hmm. where uh, you would say that IT would recommend that the conversation continue. Mm -hmm. um, it, it leaves it open to me. Uh, okay. It should be continued with the okay. something. You got a point. Recommends that the conversation continue with additional stakeholders. Uh, I, let me tell you what I was thinking. Okay. I was thinking that our conversation. I, well, no, I wasn't thinking ours. I think his sentence Correct. covers ours. But what I was thinking was now, now that people are going to be more focused on this, uh -huh. it may be that you know the the, the public so the can, conversation with the public with the public continue. Okay. Maybe I should be specific. Yeah, okay. Recommends that the conversation with the public continue. Okay. Conversation. Okay. With the public, yeah, exactly. and that makes sense because the next sentence is more as the city begins site selection. There should additional opportunity for public. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of it's yeah, public. Okay. okay, and then we have okay. a final sentence. That's, that's we're ready, ready to work. We're ready to work. Ready and willing to get yeah. to work. Okay. okay. All right. Just thank, thank you, you very you. much, James. That they yeah, made James. a better document. Bravo. Bravo. Well, bravo, Madeline. Yes. Bravo, bravo. Bravo. Now, when they ask, when they say that, I'm going to say <laughs> draft number one, draft number two, draft number three, draft number four, <laughs> all together, <laughs> final report. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, given these changes, and I will go home, I will make them, and I will get them to, and I'll actually bring it with me tomorrow. So, you all see it. I'll hand it to David Solomon, and I get, can I get a motion to make this the final draft? No move. No move. Second. Second. Moved and second. All in favor? All right. Aye. We did good work today. Wait, wait, one more question. Oh, sure. And we had any breaks or anything? Oh, no, we're not finished with the meeting. Oh, 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 Printouts, so you don't have to print all the. No, and I gotta, I gotta, I have to read, read. Uh, I know, but if you want to email it to her, she can print it out and bring it to the meeting tomorrow, like as many copies as you want. Oh yes, I will do that. I will make. I'll go home tonight. I'll do it. Yes. I'll send it to uh, to to our staff. She'll make the copies, and then I don't have to run out my printer. Right. Which is a good idea. Okay. My husband's. Thanks for this. All right. This is your call plan. Exactly. Okay, so that is done, uh, Public Works Upstate. Um, I noticed in the report here that we did not have any more breaks. We do. We did have a water break. Oh, yeah. In advance. <laughs> you know, oh, no, no. There is one here yeah. on uh, 520. That was uh, on 700 Andrews Avenue. Uh -huh. And it, it was just emergency repair, so it was a break. What about Phil Dixie? Uh, uh, what happened? I know a contractor drilled to one of the pipes uh, from the wells, from the field water wells, and um, I see it's fixed now, but I, it was down for about a week. Right, that's the same thing that happened to Five Ash. The contractor yeah. bro broke the pipe that was from the wells. Doesn't everybody know where these pipes are? Well, um, we have a lot. I mean, the one that got broken here, that was the main pipe taking all the water from the well field. This was one of the individual pipes coming from one of the wells, I believe. Right. So it wasn't like the main pipe. So we were able to run without that well. Yeah. Yeah. Who was the contractor? I, I'm not sure. I was City higher or? I don't know. I, we can get more information. I'm not, I'm, not I'm not in utility, so I haven't really been involved mm -hmm. with the break. I, well, do you remember from your experience when the contractor broke the pipe from 5-ash? We, we, we got a lot of money for that. We, we charged them a lot of money for that, for, for our pain and aggravation, didn't we? Right. And we had to stop the, I mean, I think, I think everybody had water, but we had to slow it down and yeah, all the hotels. All the hotels. Because we didn't know. It's how to close. Right. We didn't know how long it was going to take to fix it. We got to fix like two, three days. So we still, I don't think we ever ran out of water, but you know, it was close. It was close. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So is yeah, there any, any uh, thought on possibly getting a second, uh, just like they had at the five ash, a second uh, lower line going in there? So if one, like they got damaged, you have know, an alternate source to get in there. It goes to shutting down. Right? So the, the, we, we're having a new pipe built from, 
the new water plant to five ash. In the in the pipe that we have right now in use, that's gonna be at the redundant line, and that's gonna be rehab. Within so we'll have pipes. two pipes. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, because I know a lot of the uh, residents were complaining about the rust color in the, in the water, supposedly in the solar lines. Right. Okay. So we're taking yes. care of that. Michael, um, I don't know at what point in this agenda that maybe we can kind of just call, we'll circle back on the tunnel. Um, can you tunnel? Now that it's done. Good idea. Okay. I mean, would that be on five? Yeah. Whenever we're ready. Well, you know, we're uh, okay. We are not gonna uh, do. We have. We, you just gave us the report on the water break. Okay. So we're now into general discussion and comments. Kenny Tunnel. Kenny Tunnel. <laughs> so uh, we saw the city announce that the both lanes are open for Kenny Tunnel and. I know that we had the states, the FDOT's consultant came in, talked to us about some police concerns that I had. I don't remember when that happened. And then uh, uh, I actually ended up walking down there and, and doing kind of a almost a site tour when they were finishing up the, uh, with that same consultant actually, when they were finishing up the, uh, the tunnel top part and then talking more. They were supposed to bring in the coverings for the conduits. Um, I don't think they ever did, but um, I'm just curious to see what. Well, let's hear what your opinions are of what the, I don't know how finished the finished product is, and again, I don't know how much you may know about it. I have it or not been involved with that. Okay. Either, so. so, well, my um, comment is it looks, it looks horrible. It looks horrible. It looks so cheap. I can when he stood there and he said, we're going to have these silvery right. waterfall panels that, you know, I said, oh, good. It's pliable. It, I mean, maybe Big that's question. temporary, though. That's the thing. Somebody mentioned to me, maybe it's temporary. Um, I, I don't see why they would do that temporarily and then go back and do the work again. I'm not, I don't understand. You know, Unless they're going to, like, the, the decorative person. stuff gets, maybe the decorative stuff I mean, gets put on the yeah. plywood stuff. Well, Ralph, what's your kind of take on that from an engineering standpoint? I mean, does that look like it's permanent or temporary or do I mean? You know, as far as I don't, because they mentioned that they're going to, during kind of off hours, they'll be doing intermittent lane closures and stuff, I would imagine at night, but I, I don't know for what cleaning or uh, I just don't know where they are in the process or if those coverings are going to be the final, um, the final touch because this it's horrible. It looks terrible. It really does. Look horrible. Terrible. I, I don't know what the scope of work was. So the scope of work was to provide a SCADA, which is the supervisor. Uh, uh, supervisory tools so they can monitor the oxygen, they can monitor the speed. So the scope of work was not the renovation of the tunnel. However, the tunnel was shut down probably a year. Three years. Yeah. For three. Well, I'm only here recently on the board. So it's a huge uh, impact to all of us as a resident. And I think, good point, Mike, when we, even the scope of work was more to provide some uh, SCADA system for monitoring purposes, yes. Let's do some betterments. So when we're done with the project, we walk away, it looks pretty, looks clean, plus have all this technology there. Right now, they only focus on the technology. They shut down the panel. They is, I understand we cannot paint the walls because no, they no, no, install it. But, not, but we can install the additions to the wall, and then we can install the drywall on the top of the wall. So how historic is, maybe we can at least paint the drywall that it's new, it's not historical, maybe a tiles are historical, but not the new drywall they put this year. I don't know, but I do agree with Mike, looks terrible. It's blinding me when I'm driving at night. I don't like the lights. I need the a sunglass to put inside the tunnel and it's pitch dark outside. The lightning is blinding me that I may get a car accident, but it's, it's terrible work. And I understand the contractor scope was not for that, but there was no project management holistically looking at the project when we shut down the major infrastructure and then we, we don't want to have shutdowns, right? We want to get it down. Mm -hmm. I understand that, you know, it's strictly an F-thought project. I don't know how much input the city was able to give or if they were allowed to give any or even be a part of this whole thing. Um, but, you know, the, the light thing is going to be resolved because those for the consultant are going to be, um, they're going to, they, they're going to automatically dim her ambient light. I don't think that's hooked up yet. So that that's will, what they told us. Yeah. They told us if the, yeah. the lighting uh, responds to the ambient light yeah, I just, and it gets brighter and darker. Yeah. But they shouldn't open to the public because it's really dangerous. Well, like, I don't think they have any other, I don't think they have any other solution for that. I mean, I, I don't, you know, obviously in this whole thing, it's a $26 million project. So obviously there's a ton that, you know, went into it. I don't know. 
at what point in the process if they're able to hook that up sooner or if they're waiting on other things. But no, I totally agree. I've heard that from another number of people. Again, you know, it's like I, I just uh, I, I know it's all F dot and the people are blaming the city and I'm trying to make it clear to folks that it's not the city, it's F dot, right? But um, I just don't know what, you know, if any say we had in this whole thing. I know that they also, I think they replaced the pump house. If yes, I'm not mistaken. there's a lot of stuff on that the ground. Infrastructure is better. And structure. The air. Yeah, the ventilation. Yeah, ventilation. ventilation. Um, so it's a great product. I mean, it's obviously going to be great. The ITS and uh, intelligent transportation system is going to be incorporated in there as well, which is basically more or less in, in simple terms of the sinking of traffic lights. So from a traffic standpoint and traffic control, I think that may be an improvement. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I just, obviously there's nothing that I don't think we can do. It's really a state project, but it's in our city. Yeah. What well, you think it was uh, needed a stronger person representing the city to get in there and say, wait a minute, we can't exclude them. Blah, blah, blah. I, I guess, but again, you know, how much power does the city have when it comes to FDOT? You know, it's like this. Nothing. Great. So that's, I could say, hey, thanks. We appreciate that. But I'm just scurrying on. I, I, I know I've been pulling my hair out a little. I got left. <laughs> With the uh, drainage things at the uh, federal highway, they just flooded out. And I called, finally, I called uh, uh, Chip Lamarca of oh. the state. Yes, you have to go to the Yeah, I should probably get them out to show. Um, yeah. It's too late, I, I don't. I guess now, but I don't know. It's like it, it, maybe there was an opportunity for the city to invest a little bit of money if the state wasn't going to do it in, in the. Right. You know, in, uh, in making this a tunnel look nice, you know, yeah. um, again, well, I don't, maybe these things are not permanent. The, the thing know. that really disturbed me was that they the took the tiles up. down from the roof. It, okay. It the roof was tiled. Was yes. And I remember when he was standing there, he said, well, we started taking them down. It was an impossible to take them down. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. It was impossible yeah. to take them down. Okay. Yeah. Now you took it half down. Right. Okay. Can you at least paint it yellow? Now it just looks like dirty cement up there. But Chair, it is contradicting because in one point I'm hearing we can't touch the tiles and then right. we're taking half of the tiles and then we installing uh, all the SCADA sensors, the instrument in those wires on the tile, right. <laughs> putting a drywall right. over. So let's let's pick up what is it? Like we either we can because I, maybe we can do some good uh, wall paint and some. For Lauderdale, I don't know the ocean, whatever. Very smart is saying what done. Actually, I think I think on those on those panels we should have waves. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe we paint something. Who's thinking of bringing bring local artists in and let them have that? Right. And give them yeah. sections. But could right? we make that suggestion? I don't know if that's in our in our doghouse here. Well, yeah. Again, is it? it the jurisdiction is up there. And, and I think the time is now when it's shut down. So it is a better call. I understand they would not fund those projects. This is not the have that money for it, but maybe city can find some money and you know, communicate with them and get it done when it's shut down. What what they're talking about in terms of painting and, and signage, they're talking about putting a sign on on over the where it says Kimmy Tunnel. Mm -hmm. They were talking, I was at a commission meeting. They were talking about um, uh, uh, getting some artists to put a sign up there like visit the river walk or something like that or Fort Lauderdale. They were talking about adding some, you know, little jazz to the top of that uh, uh, thing, of the tunnel. Maybe within that discussion, there could be a discussion of doing something in the tunnel. I just don't think it's it's uh, I don't think it's our job. If, if you have a con concern, you and I will we'll we'll talk to our commissioner. We're both being appointed by the same commissioner. Why don't we write a little joint letter to him? We could we could do that. I'd be happy to do that with you. Why don't you do that too? Anybody who feels similarly? Aren't you all four in the same district? We're, I'm in two. Oh, yeah. We are four. We, we have a two. I, I can reach out to Chip too and see yeah. if Chip sees you. I, I think that's the, the way to go. If individually, right. we'll okay. something out. You and I will talk. All right, cool. Not as representatives. No, no, no. no, 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 no it's a yeah. resident concern. As residents. Okay. Does anybody else have any other comments? Uh, items for discussion. Can we talk about our next meeting where we're not going to be talking about City Hall anymore? Okay. Oh, we wanted, <laughs> yeah, that's true. One, one doesn't know. Not in July. July, we're not having Oh, all right. Let's, talking about August, you wanted a update on the, um, the city, city works. City, city the works. city works. Yeah. So August is city works. City works. Yeah. City works. Okay. By August, there may in fact be something with the consent, potential consent order for the water. Uh, 
We we can have an update if you want. Yeah. You you thought the 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 gentleman who was in charge of the contract thought it might be done by September. So August. That, is that's what Suli might say. Yeah. Oh yeah, but so September October August is a little too early. Might be a little too early. But if anybody would like, I can get the lady from FDOT who does the bridge inspections. She would like to come and talk to us about the whole process. You know, the state FDOT inspects all the bridges. And then they pass on that information to the city, and the city has to act on um, on, on maintaining and living up to whatever the recommendations are on the bridges. She would be happy to come. Would, would anybody like that in August as part of City Works? I'd like to get an update on the water treatment plant. Okay, I let's have our okay, our our yeah. and semi annual water treatment plan. Semi annual, yeah. Okay, new water treatment plant. Anything else? Okay, this is me because I'm the new guy, right? Okay. What's what our standard? What's our what's our mission? I mean, I walked into the city hall. That's what we've been working on. But what's our regular mission? And as a group, on the bottom of the. Right it's in the resolution, okay. which is a which is a cavalier answer because you not do that. It, right it, here. It, um, yeah, it's not the right. Right. yeah. And, and you got. And if you read that, it's everything. Yeah. It's essentially everything. It's, it's yes. the guts of the system. It's the guts of the system. I would like to get, uh, I know this is going to make your toes wing. Oh, okay. But I'd like to uh, get the uh, oh, what? update how aggressive really and what are what is the schedule on the replacement or repair or planning of the vitrified clay pipe that we still have oh. 30 million gallons of Groundwater going to the George T. Lomar. Oh, the I, the I and I contract. I I. We we gave that contract out. The guy is working on it. Be a girl, working on it. Yeah. Why don't we have an update on the contract from the contractor of what work's been done so far? How how far has he progressed? And what's what's the outlook for the future of getting this thing under control, which yeah. may be a century. Okay, so okay. we want we want the city works right. The water plan update, right? In the and I and I contract, I and I like an update. Of what's going he's on? He's going to be your new best friend. The I and I contract. Okay, that's that's, that's plenty. A that's a lot. That may be too that's much, but that's maybe more than one. And you may not be able to get them all. So these are your options. Okay, and uh, the other one that we we're talking about what was the other one. The bridge lady. Yeah, you don't. You want? Well, that? no, no. These are these are certainly much more. Okay. Much more important. The bridge lady is is fascinating. I mean, I was so fascinated by how how they rate the bridges and you know um, op functionally obsolete versus something obsolete, and then what happens when that happens? Do you, do you lose funding from the federal government if you don't take action? Right. It was a fascinating discussion. So we'll, we'll hold off on that. Okay. okay? So we'll those three. Yeah, well, those are your options. Just one last thing for me. I have a question for you. I don't know if this is your scope or not, but um. With the um, City Works project, the I and I, you know, study, so to speak, and and with the knowledge that we gain from that, do you feel that, um, you know, we would be able to identify maybe some points of source when it comes to coliforms draining into the new river and so on and so forth? Because like we're doing water testing right now through uh, Miami Waterkeeper, um, which is wonderful. But the pro the follow on to that is, I was just having this this discussion with Commissioner Glassman is. Um, when we know that there are uh, very, very high coliform, dangerously high coliform levels in, in our waterways in our river, we're not kind of trying to bird dog that, so to speak, and find out where it's coming from. So I know that we have the ability to do that, like that technology is out there. So is there an ability that if we find that there is a, a very high level of coliforms coming from pipe XYZ somewhere in the river, can we get up that pipe and figure out and try to trace some things that are coming from that pipe? I mean, do these things help us accomplish that work? Um, I know uh, Dr. Gasman's team, they sample all the water. Uh, I don't know which areas and how often, but they have a program for that. Mike's on that. Okay. Do you want them to give you like a like a presentation of how they do it? And, and how No, I, I know how they do it because I've done it myself through another type of unrelated project, but... Um, my question is, I mean, is there, do we, is there, are there methods out there like dye packing or anything else to figure out if we know that there's high level of coliforms coming out from, you know, a pipe, right? Is there a way that we can get up and figure out where, what's what the, what, yeah, what's the point to source on it? 
Yeah. yeah, that's that's my thing because if we're looking at the I and I thing, we're looking at again infrastructure. We're upgrading infrastructure. My personal, I guess, preference, but from an environmental standpoint, is you know, can we prioritize some of these some of this infrastructure that could be leaking and poisoning our waterways and our environment? Right. I I, I think one of the very fascinating parts of that is we still have places that are on septics. I mean, there's a whole area in Riverside Park, well, Riverside, Riverside, I forget the full name, River Oaks, I think it's up in, in the River Oaks area. There's like, you know, 15, and, and yeah. lots of houses there. And they're still on septics and they're right on the canal. They gotta be linking to the canal. This is Nancy Gassman. Can you guys hear me? Oh, hi, Nancy. I was just gonna say, she's on the call. Oh, hi. Hi, how is everyone? Um, Wonderful, thank you. So, in order for us to definitively say that high high fecal coliform detected in any given location is related to a sanitary sewer leakage, those numbers generally would be in the 10,000 range. That's extremely rare in the Miami Waterkeeper monitoring. We do occasionally see values above 1,000. Um, which can be a single single event to Mr. Lambrick's concerns. In areas where we see chronic higher levels, and again, these levels usually are less than a thousand colonies um, per sampling event. In those areas, we've applied techniques such as smoke testing, and Omar can explain that a little bit more to you. We have applied techniques using dye packs in certain locations. We've identified locations where we had old um, abandoned outfalls and we've requested inspections of those locations to find out if there is some kind of a low level leak. But the kind of impact that you're talking about where it, there's a smoking gun kind of pipe, we're not seeing those, those high levels that would indicate that we have a sanitary sewer system that is creating a substantial leak into a waterway. It, it, again, if you look at the Miami Waterkeeper data, it is rare to see values that are substantially over a thousand. And when we do, we do immediately investigate. And there often is some sort of a sanitary sewer identified leak that's being repaired. Uh, and in other cases, it's very transient. It occurs and then it doesn't occur again. And so the challenges of trying to identify exactly where this fecal coliform is coming from continues to be problematic. Uh, while there are techniques such as uh, using genetic testing to determine what the source of the bacteria is, to be fair, whether we determine whether it's human or dog, it doesn't tell us how to solve the problem because if it's human, it could be somebody drove by with a boat and they emptied their honey tank. Or mm. if it's dog, at what point do we say, well, it's dog, we shouldn't worry about it. So even, even when you have definitive understanding of where it's coming from, it doesn't always point you to solving the problem of thing high high coliform, and, and I'll just reiterate it one more time, high coliform in terms of a potential sanitary sewer leak is gonna be over 10,000 uh, colonies per sample, and we rarely see that. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. you. Appreciate it. Okay? okay. All right, I got, we'll see you guys tomorrow at 1130 at the museum. Okay, all right. Okay. I, the, the one on Los Olas. Uh, is there parking? Yeah, there yeah, is. There's a parking garage. There is a parking garage on the other side. Just to the north. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There is a park. I don't know. I think you have to pay there. It's though. pay to park, but okay. it's reasonable. Yeah. It's reasonable. All right. Thank you very much. See you all tomorrow.